go to start. Let's take a deep breath. Everyone, please stand up.
Mr. Tamura, please. Okay. Thank you, Master of Ceremonies. And honorable judges. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening. So, I have one question for you. Do you want to study abroad? Please raise your hand if you want. Okay. Uh, I see some of you raise your hand. So, the next question is, talking about our favorite music. He shared his favorite Western music. And I was not familiar with Western music before he introduced that song. That song was super exciting and I got into the rhythm. In return, I shared my favorite music of back number which is Japanese famous band. And um, when I told the meaning of lyrics, he was very excited and he was very interested in that. Such exchanges happened in my daily life. Japanese to the end, and he taught me French. Um, I felt um, these exchanges, these experiences were kind of culture exchange, and I felt that these experiences can could expand my work. The second merit is that you can encounter surprising things. So, um, when I was attending a class in Australia, I encountered a 43 years um, old Korean man in the class. Wait, 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 wait. 43 years old? So, um, can you imagine that you will encounter a 40, um, an old Korean man in Australia. Anyway, he was very friendly to me. So one day, we went shopping around Brisbane together. Um, after shopping, he was saying that, shall we go to the vegan restaurant together? Then I replied, oh really? Vegan means avoiding animal products such as meat, eggs, and milk, right? Okay, I'll try it. I just thought the vegan meal was not enough for me. However, um, 
when the waiter put the vegan Korean rice on the table, my impression was totally changed. It looked so delicious. And I felt and I felt it makes the most of the original taste of ingredients. It was surprising to encounter an old Korean man in Australia. And having a vegan meal was also surprising. Surprising things expanded my world. Study abroad enables you to encounter new culture. Study abroad enables you to expand your world. Study abroad inspires will inspire you. If you are interested in study abroad, take your action from that on. Thank you very much. we become adults. We will have spent quite 153 days trying to find small items. What a waste it is to do this for almost half a year. According to the survey, the survey with 3,000 participants by a British, British insurance company. One looked for something about One looked for something nine times, nine times a day. The missed items were 3,200, 3,685 pieces a year. Then the one wheel, the one wheel look for 200,000 pieces. In total, during 60 years, 
from 20 to 80 years old. If we spend three minutes to find to find one piece nine times a day, it it will take it will take 414 days per year. It reminds me it reminds me of a proverb. Drop, many drops make a shower. Then, how can we enjoy taking a lot, a hot shower every day? Let me share my, let me share my small example with you. I live in Yokohama, and it takes two hours for me to arrive here on campus every morning. At, at first, it was an exhausting journey. I looked around. I looked around myself on a train. There are so many students whose eyes were glued to to their split, to their cell phone screens. I was also one of them. But now, I, but now, I take, I take, I take great advantage of this long commute as if my, as if I were in my private office. I make a loop to check my schedule and and schedules and emails in five minutes or read books and newspaper in ten minutes and do my homework on my on my computer in twenty minutes. find the most of my time, pocket time, to do my to do something valuable. In short, I should in advance how much time I will spend on something. That must be done to keep enough time to do what I desire to. Making good use of uh, spare time uh, bring us bring us more chance to do something clearly. Ladies and gentlemen, let us let us ask ourselves on our on our way home this evening. How will I spend? How will I spend? How will I spend my time more effectively to to find a way to make a better change? In our life, in our life, because the future will be created by what we do in the present. Thanks so much. I want to think about presenting in Japanese. Um, overall, I. The topics and the content of your individual speeches were very interesting. Um, I think 
some common issues amongst all three were obviously a couple grammar and pronunciation issues, and then the occasional uh, memorization issue and some pauses, but I think that all three of you showed excellent like engagement with the audience, which is a very important aspect of presenting. It's important to keep the audience, to make the audience feel engaged and not have them kind of fall asleep, which I think you guys did a great job of managing. Um, I think your overall commitment and your sincerity and your choice of topics were great, and I'm very interested to see where you guys go from here, from, from now on. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I wanted to make a comment. What Kyle just said is he wants to know where these students are going to be from here. Uh, I have a little bit of a historical perspective because I actually judged these 45 years ago, and some of those students are very prominent members in society. Uh, one of them ended up living in the United States for 10 years and became a CEO of Japan Paper Company. And uh, so I want to tell you, your, your future is in front of you. Uh, since you are students, and I'm also a student again, I know time is precious. So the time for you to prepare for this is very difficult when you're trying to keep up your studies at the same time. Your effort is to be commended. The fact that you are doing this out of your own extra time to come to this club and try to associate with some native speakers, this will be your reward. So uh, what I want to say, I don't want to say anything negative. I want to comment. It was great to hear your effort. And please continue on and never give up. Thank you. They don't know, want to know who's the winner? No. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you want to? Please, please, please. Okay, let me get up this. So, whenever you have a contest, yes, contest. <laughs> the speech contest, you want to know who won. Yes. Right? It's like a game. So Kyle and I were kind of comparing notes, and we, we felt very similar about many things. A uh, very close race. If this was the 100-yard dash or the 100-meter dash, they would be a photo finish because they were all so close. 
but uh, one uh, person was just a little bit ahead of the others. And so uh, we wanted to tell Kayori she's first place. He's on Facebook. Everybody smile. You're going to be on the Facebook. This is the participants, okay? Hi. <laughs> okay, good. 